Aloha! It's Musette again. And it dawned on me I have a lot of close ups. It's because I got short arms. So I'm trying to hold it out further away from me. <laughs> but I don't know how long I can hold it out. My arm is already getting kind of tired. So here, here you're coming in closer now. Well, Keiki, it's K E K I. I spelled it K A. But here the E's sound like A's and the A I's are long I's. And the eyes are E's. And there's a whole lot more to it. But I think there's only 12 letters in the alphabet. So, good morning. No, good afternoon. It's afternoon. And I really need to talk to you. Now, I've been thinking about this and definitely hesitant to bring it up. But that's why I called this whole vlog Help Musette because I'm imperfect and I do need help. And I don't think that I'm doing it right. So help me. Do you guys feel like we need to be united? It seems to me like, as I was talking to people, that freedom was what we could unite together on. That was maybe the one thing it seemed like everyone agreed on is that they all want freedom. Um, historically, let's start with the Puritans. You know, the Puritans came in the 1400s to this USA or to this land, the Americas in search of religious freedom. And not long after they got here and had established their own settlement, they made laws to where they had religious freedom as long as you were a Puritan. <laughs> yeah, they did it. They made it illegal to not be a Puritan in their area. Well, they got over it eventually. And our country has a long history of people fighting for freedoms and people being denied freedoms. I come from a, just a full rich heritage of enslaved people that have been denied their freedoms, that have been enslaved by different groups. And who thought that it would happen when it did? When it did happen, no one expected that it was going to happen. And it always happened when the population was dwindled. Maybe the guy in charge went out and killed a bunch of babies and kept the population low and when the people were divided. So that's my concern. That's why I feel like we have to unite. We don't have to agree. We don't. We're not going to agree. Are you kidding? But let's find one. We can agree on a few things and that is that we want to be free. And as much as we might hate it for the other guy, what happened to compromise? I mean, really, we don't want to win to the point where we don't have opposition anymore. Not here on earth. That's impossible. That's enslavement. We don't want to do that. We want the opposition. It gives us balance. It gives us checks. It helps us come to a compromise. Compromise is the great American solution. We don't want to do away with that. Are we going to? I hope not. Because besides starting back at the Puritans, in the 20th century, there was the Holocaust. How did that ever happen? How did it happen? When I first learned about it as a child, I was in shock. How did that happen? I've studied it. It happened because the people were divided. They were told that there were hateful groups and they were told to be hateful and full of hatred and that it was okay to be full of hatred, that there were bad guys that they all wanted to destroy. Let's not let that happen to us. There aren't bad guys. Well, there may be a few bad guys, but they're a whole lot more good. We are good. So I feel as I'm failing. I really do. Am I failing at this whole pursuit that I have? Honestly, I've had some dreams. I've been thinking about it for a few years. I feel strongly about it. Can you guys help me? Can you give me feedback? Can you spread the word? And if you don't want to spread the word, send people to help use that on YouTube. Do that. I'll spread the word. But this is the best way I can think of. If you can think of something better, do it. Come on, I need feedback. Or do you not want to be united? Are you too afraid? I don't think we need to be afraid of agreeing on respecting each other's rights to be different, to be individuals, to have freedom. And we're going to have to check each other on it all the time, like we have historically for the last 200 and something years. We're coming on the 4th of July. It's all about freedom. I love you guys.
please give me some feedback. Let me know. And if I should stop or if I should change, I need to know that. That's why it's called Hell Musette. It should have been called Musette. Don't got it all together. Come on. <laughs> you guys take care. I'll talk to you soon and have a wonderful day. Aloha. And give your cakeys hugs and kisses. Isn't that a great name for children? Cakey? Do you feel like you can have your little cakey and eat it too? <laughs> Aloha. <laughs>